how to exchange the nib of the parka sonnet that's the parka sonnet fountain pen matte and when you open it you can see it's not matte inside it's shiny and contrary to any other fountain pen where you can just you know grab the nib up here i'm not sure if you cannot do it or if you can i really don't know i i, I intended and i couldn't but that doesn't mean you can't but what you can do is when you have a parka sonnet fountain no matter which color even the metal shiny one um they all have the same front part that means you can just take the whole front part and exchange that to exchange the nib Yep, and why I'm um, at it, this is the <clears throat> adapter which comes with some of them. Works quite nice, has a different system, pulls up and down. And yeah, if you want to put it up, you should probably do it like a syringe. Not like I did, got it all mixed up. And yes, I have my list of vocabularies right here learning now better English. I don't know why I have been so restricted. I'm usually very deep and profound in any language I learn, but I had to wait. And now I am showing you to do your little list if you would like to learn a language. It's always good, like French do, to actually have an explanation in the same language. French actually limit this when you learn French. <laughs> they don't give you the names of the words in any other languages. They know you gotta learn them in French itself, which is cool, but also, you know, as a reference point, especially from language I come from, German, it's, it's so broad and so vast. Um, it's nice to put out German words, but look how many there are. <laughs> that would be some Asian, that would probably only be like half a word, and here we got like four, and there we have like, poof, how many? Like, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 words for this one, one word. Anyhow, um, so this is the Parker Sonic Fountain, which is really cool. I like him very much. Very, very, very much. Enjoy. So, as I'm a good studier and a good learner, I speak a few languages. I studied quite a bit. I don't know, I speak quite a bit. Five um, languages, although I studied Russian, I don't speak it and I don't use it um, <clears throat> and I speak other languages which are not written like body language, sign language, intention languages etc. But what the time right now is when you start working on any vocabulary you would like to learn, now we have to formulate sentences to, to internalize it, you have to create a relationship to it. So you may copy some if you want from, from the internet which I'm going to look up a few just to make sure. Um, that you apply them in the correct manner, but you have to internalize them. So I'm gonna use this next page to write a few sentences using each of these words. I like studying. I'm so joyfully learning. Um, I hope you do too. Bye bye. And here is my list of sentences. I looked up online sentences containing the word and then I chose a few and I rephrased them getting inspired by the suggestion or just copied them as it was. Bye bye.